There are still a lot of unanswered questions in the Harvey Weinstein scandal, but only a few of them involve Weinstein himself. Instead, the biggest question now is how so many people, including smart ones, journalists, actors, producers, knew about Weinstein's behavior and yet didn't reveal it for years. Sharon Waxman is the founder of The Wrap, but before that, she was at the New York Times as a reporter, and she was ready to expose Weinstein's deeds 13 years ago, and yet editors scuttled her story. Now she says that story was killed after Weinstein himself came to the New York Times newsroom to argue against it. Sharon Waxman joins us tonight for the second time. Sharon, thanks a lot for coming back. I'm glad you came, because sure. I think this is one of the most interesting stories, not that the New York Times is, I mean, they, they in the end revealed it, they're not solely at fault here, but it's kind of a window into how this story didn't come out earlier and you were at the center of it. What do you know now that you didn't know when last we talked about why your story didn't run? Well, I had heard at the time that Harvey had come to the newsroom, and I said that in the post that I originally wrote, which basically called out the fact that the New York Times was, to my mind, kind of sm uh, kind of self-congratulating self in yes. saying nobody else in the media was going to reveal this in until we did. And I that was what propelled me to say, hey, guys, actually, we did try to get this story in the paper 13 years ago, and, and what ended up appearing in print was really way diminished and didn't have context and didn't really make any sense. And, and what my understanding was is that Harvey Weinstein went to war to get this not to appear in the New York Times, which is of course what he does and I had said at the time that Matt Damon called me which I knew Russell Crowe called me which I knew and that I'd heard that Harvey Weinstein had visited the newsroom in an attempt to sway the editors not to run the story or to kill the story so yes. I was told Dean Beck from the New York Times went on the record and said he spoke to the former uh, editor and managing editor Bill Keller and Jill Abramson and they had no recollection of any such meeting and I thought wow I guess I must have a really bad memory so in the meantime <laughs> now three different people have come forward to say, no, yes, there was a meeting. And in fact, uh, this sort of colorful detail that Harvey Weinstein and David Boyce, his lawyer, and a spokesman for the company were circling the New York Times in a town car, desperately trying to get a meeting with Bill Keller until they got one, and that they came into the newsroom and it was the talk of the building. And I don't know what the conversation was, but obviously they were not exchanging recipes. So again, let me be clear, that doesn't mean that they, they swayed Bill Keller, the editor at the time. But again, it's just my pointing out the New York Times doesn't like anyone to call them out on things. I get that. But it is true that that meeting happened that both Bill Keller and Angela Abramson said that you have no re recollection ever occurred. The meeting did occur. There was severe pressure. And all I know is that my story appeared without any reference to women or sexual anything at all. That's unbelievable. By the way, we should say, in case Definitely. our viewers missed it, the New York Times did attack you personally after you noted that your original story had been altered to take out all the interesting stuff. Do you think it's plausible, rhetorical question here, that you could forget a meeting with David Boyce and Harvey Weinstein in your own newsroom? That's an interesting question. Well, what Bill Keller came back and said to me was somewhat equivocal. He said, I do remember that there was a meeting with Harvey Weinstein and David Boyce, but I think it was about a different story in 2007. So I came back to him and I said, no, Bill, that may well be that you had that meeting. But what I'm asking about is specifically this meeting in 2004. In the fall, three people remember it, <laughs> including my former editor. And he didn't. He did. He chose not to answer. And basically, he's just saying, "I'm sour grapes. I didn't get the story," uh -huh. which is not what it's about for me. It's about whether we could have exposed this earlier and perhaps saved some women the uh, suffering or the trials of having yes. been preyed upon. And and I didn't have the whole story. I'm not trying to assert that. But with the story no. I had had to do with there a, a guy in Italy who was on the Disney payroll, whose job was essentially to procure women. For, for him. And now so there's a ton of women coming out and corroborating that story. Right. It would have changed everything that if that had run. You're, you're obviously a dogged reporter. Um, thank you for filling us in on yes, what I have. learned <laughs> since then. Sharon Waxman, thanks.